Hello everyone, welcome to Alex518. So today, I would like to share my repair experience for this axle suppression power supply. But before that, I would like to give you the background of this unit. The reported failure was power input fuse keep blowing every power up. As you can see from the picture, the original blown fuse been removed from the fuse holder. It is a customized unit designed for specific equipment, which means it became hardly available from the global market. It can generate output voltage up to 6 kV depending on your process requirements. Nothing much for the unit background. Let's move to the next step. Thank you. The purpose of this video is to share the method of repairing parts. There's no intention to advertise brands, disclose private properties, or promote any services. Just enjoy watching the video until the end. You might learn something new. Thank you. The first step that I wanted to do was to visual inspect the part. So I need to remove the cover and to look for burn marks, heat marks, and any blown components. Especially our unit was having a blown fuse problem, which signifies somewhere have overcurrent. Visual inspection has been suggested as a first thing that you need to do during troubleshooting because it can help you locate the problem area or faulty circuitry in a fastest way. And while we are doing the visual inspection, we need as well to familiarize the components inside the device. Okay, let's start. High voltage transformer. This high voltage transformer step up the voltage from 110 to 4800 volts. AC line filter. The function of this AC line filter was to reduce the electromagnetic interference from other electrical devices. Cooling fan. AC line filter 2. DC power module, so it supply 5 volts and plus minus 15 volts into the driver board and the communication board. Fuse 3 amperes. This is the blowing fuse. Communication board handles the signal interface from external equipment. Driver board, a circuit board designed to drive the thyrotrons. Relays Signal step down transformers actually hidden at the back of this metal plate. Thyrotrons A thyrotron is used for high power electrical switch and controlled rectifier, mostly used in a special high voltage application. Power board consists of high voltage diode and capacitors. So that's all for visual inspections and parts familiarizations. Thank you. Let's move to the next step. Continue troubleshooting. In this step, I'm hoping to find a shorted components. Communication board. DC supply module. No shorted components found. All were okay. Power board, driver board, test high voltage diodes. Multimeter cannot use to check high voltage diodes. I use different method to test. Please check the link from the description below. High voltage transformer. Check primary and secondary continuity. All were okay. Check separately the following components. Thyrotron. 
relays energized relay coil as per voltage requirements and check normally closed and normally open continuity transformers check primary and secondary continuity all were ok ESR and capacitance check for all high voltage capacitors all readings are good so in this step there's no significant findings found let's move to the next step continue troubleshooting in this step I decided to sketch a block diagram from where the 3 amps fuse is directly connected so it connects in parallel the DC power module signal transformer 1 signal transformer 2 and also to the high voltage transformer so I wanted to power up independently each component and measure the current drone DC supply module we're okay signal transformer we're okay signal transformer 2 we're okay 4.8 kilovolt transformer the current drone spike to 10 amperes and then go back steady to 5 amperes apparently this should be the reason why the incoming fuse had keep blowing i have the video during the high voltage transformer is powered up please watch again as you can see the current went up above 10 amperes and then moved steady at 5 amperes the transformer started giving a burn smell so we turn it off quickly obviously we have a symptoms of faulty transformer so in this step we finally found the main reason why the fuse keep blowing let's move to the next step this is a closer look for the high voltage transformer it is a customized transformer surely hard to find the replacement no visual defect and beside by powering up the transformer from previous activity i did a simple calculation to find out how much current should be drawn at the primary without load using the given values and the ideal equation voltage secondary over voltage primary equal to current primary over current secondary the current drawn in the primary should be 0.2 amperes not around 5 amperes so this theory suggests that the transformers is a true failure sad violence summary report failure fuse keep blowing every power up root cost potential failure at high voltage transformer lessons electrically test the parts separately and observe abnormal current drone always do a visual inspect as a first step of troubleshooting sketch a black diagram to have overview with a circuit test results pending for test under spare parts sourcing if you have any ideas where to buy this transformer please message me in the comment section below thank you all right thank you so much for watching i have many success repair topics to share please support 
and give me motivations. Please subscribe, like and share. And hit the notification bell for my upcoming videos. Thanks again and see you next time. Goodbye and keep safe.